Tonight, the men rest easy, knowing that they're safe. Now, the women are about to learn which two of them will be nominated by Melissa for elimination. Melissa, have you made your decision? Yes, Chef. Who's your first nominee and why? My first nominee is Joanna because the way we work together, the way she went about communicating with me. Thank you, Melissa. Second nominee and why? My second nominee is... Tiffany. I don't want to go home. You're not going home. No. No. No way. Because of how long the appetizers took to get out. Thank you, Melissa. Tiffany, Joanna, step forward, please. Tiffany, is that the best you can do? No, Chef. I mean, I think I'm capable of more than what was produced tonight. If I could have performed better, of course, but I mean, I respect your decision. Joanna. Yes, yeah, Chef. Why should you stay in the house kitchen? I did excellent teamwork. I basically helped my team as much as possible. And originally, when Tiffany was on the starter station, nothing was coming out. This is not an easy decision. I teach these people this shit every day. OK, all right, all right. I hear you. Who cooked these quail's eggs? I did, Chuck. Just out there. It's like a plastic silicon implant. Fucking bin them. Get rid of them. The person leaving Hale's Kitchen tonight is Tiffany. You've got to go. Take your jacket off. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. I had no idea it was going to be this intense. I don't want to go home. Nobody wants to go home. But if he was choosing people on heart, he absolutely made the right decision tonight. After a very difficult evening, the women have secured their first dinner service victory. For the men, it's time to deal with their defeat. Gentlemen, every one of you deserve to be up here. You know that. Rock. Yes, sir. Have you made your decision? Yes, sir, I have. First nominee and why? My first nominee is... Eddie. Why have you nominated Eddie? I feel that Eddie is a small guy, and I'm not sure when he can come out of that shell and be an asset to our team. Second nominee, and why? My second nominee is Josh. Josh? To me, Josh is all over the place. Eddie and Josh, step forward, please. Eddie. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay? Well, Chef, I learned a very important lesson today. And what was that? That I really need to speak up and stand up for myself. I have a lot of passion. I have a lot of creativity. I could go very far in this, and I hope I get the chance to show you. Josh. Yes, Chef. I think you're one big fake full of piss and wind. No, Chef, I'm not a fake at all. Not one of your main courses went out. Why should you stay here? Tonight was the most embarrassing moment in my professional life. I have never been thrown out of the kitchen before. I feel horrible and embarrassed, and I can't wait to come back and rally, and I hope I'm given the opportunity to come back. This is not an easy decision. Just touch that. Huh? No. Yes, Chef. No, no. Yes, Chef. It's inedible! You wouldn't even serve it to a fucking pig! My decision is... Josh? I'm giving you another chance. Eddie, take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. Now fuck off. Yes, sir. Yes. 
My biggest regret in Hell's Kitchen is just not being loud. I should have just went in full blast and just tore the place apart. Getting kicked off sucks, and, uh, but you know, I did it to myself. In just moments, the doors to Hell's Kitchen will open. The men prepare for dinner service a man down. And Chef Ramsay must deliver the bad news that Aaron won't be returning to Hell's Kitchen. Hello, this is Aaron. Aaron, it's Gordon, how are you? Hey, Chef Ramsay, how are you? I'm very, very well indeed, but listen, more importantly, how are you? I'm honored that you're calling me, I can't believe it. Don't be silly, listen, I am so, so sorry that you're not feeling better. Chef Ramsay, I've, I've worked all this time to come to this point to work for you. I really appreciate you trying damn hard to get back here. But the bad news is you have a serious illness, the doctor's orders. You cannot come back into this kitchen. Alrighty then. Best wishes. Get yourself better. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. I feel disappointed. I mean, I've worked almost 40 years in a kitchen to for what? I guess I'm coming home. Bit of bad news, yes. Unfortunately, having just spoken to Aaron, he's sick, but he will not be returning to Hell's Kitchen. Do you think you could do without him, blue team? Yes, yes, yes. Chef. Joanna. Yes, Chef. Has your team made their decision? Yes, Chef. Who are the team's two nominees? The first nominee, Chef, is myself. And who's the other nominee? They nominated Julia. I'm the next nominee, Chef. So we've got three nominees. I asked you for two. Why Julia? Jen, Bonnie, and Melissa came to a decision solely based upon her current knowledge of the ingredients and the running of a fine dining restaurant. Now Jen has thrown herself on the sword. Yes, Chef. Why have you nominated yourself? During service tonight, Chef, we had a lot of pasta left over, and I threw it in the garbage. Julia said, we have another pasta order. So I quick ran, grabbed it, washed it, threw it in the pot of boiling water, 212, killed the bacteria. Three of you step forward. Julia, aren't you out your league? Are you? No, I don't believe that I'm out of my league. And I think that it will really shock everybody to see who comes out on top. I don't think that it's for any reason that I'm here. I agree. Julia, back in line. Jen, why should you stay? I love my job in taking charge of situations. You're taking pasta out of the bin as well. Joanna. Yes, Chef. Yeah, why should you stay? I know that my performance was weak this evening, but I also feel like I would never give you trash. So you'd never make the critical mistake that Jen made by taking pasta out of the bin and trying to serve it? No, sir. But you would cook spaghetti with the most disgusting crab. Right now, maybe both of you should go. The crab is rancid! You'll kill someone! Where'd you get it from? Garbage on the top. Oh, no, no, no. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is Joanna. Take your jacket off and leave Hell's Kitchen. Getting kicked out of Hell's Kitchen is not going to stop me at all. I think by me coming here it made me a lot stronger. I'm ready to strive to be a better person and achieve my ultimate goal of having my own restaurant.
Brock. Yes, sir. Have you made your mind up? Yes. Who's your nominee and why? My nominee is... Josh. Josh? I think he's maxed out of his potential as far as what the team needs. I don't think he is an asset at this moment. Jen, nominee and why? Melissa? Melissa? Based on tonight's performance, I just didn't feel her leadership qualities were there. That's it? Yes, Chef. I'm disappointed. With both of you. You clearly didn't nominate the worst performer. You've both been overruled. Bonnie. Vinny. Step forward. Vinny, why didn't Rock nominate you? Chef, I had my head so far up my ass during service, I don't know. Joshua did good or bad during service? Good answer. Bonnie, why didn't Jen nominate you? To be honest, I was surprised. I'm not oblivious to my performance tonight. I know no. I screwed up big time. Vinny. Yes, Chef? Give me one good reason why I should continue tolerating you. Well, Chef, when you decide to put your name behind somebody's name for this hotel in Las Vegas, uh, I'm the most qualified chef here. How about a little bit of humility right now to keep your ass in Hell's Kitchen? When will you ever accept that you fucked up? When will you ever accept that you are totally oblivious to cooking at Wellington? I thought that, you know, I thought I had the, the scheme down. I thought I figured out, you know, how to do it. Didn't work out that way. Bonnie, you were bad. I was bad, Chef. You screwed it big time. Yes, I did, Chef. What have you got left? I've always been able to, to guide my team when I've been doing prep. I need help on service, I'm not gonna lie. You need help on service? I, I was crap. I was crap. I'm sure when you started out, you made a lot of mistakes too. I'm learning from my mistakes. This is not an easy decision. Stop lying to me! You're saying yes all the fucking time, yet nothing's done! Vinny, is it every other one with you? I fucked a lot up, but I, I'm, I'm on it now. Oh, fuck me, senseless. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight is Vinny. I can't go any further with you. Hey, chap. You've peaked. Take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. I can't do what he does. He's got years of experience on me. He knows what oysters and caviar taste like from Japan. And he knows what spices from India are like. And I don't know that. There's a lot of things that I like to do over, but the reality is that, you know, there is isn't. There is no second chances in Hell's Kitchen. For the first time in weeks, the men are safe. No such luck for the women, who must now face Chef Ramsay. Jen, have you made your decisions? Yes, Chef. First nominee and why, please? My first nominee is Melissa Chef. I feel it's important to recognize your mistakes instead of trying to blame everyone else for them. Second nominee and why, please? My second nominee is Bonnie. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. I know that Bonnie did an impeccable service today, but in past services, she wasn't on point. And Melissa and Bonnie, step forward, please. Melissa, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I've been doing this for 10 years. I know a lot of things that maybe some girls on our team weren't sure of. I kind of felt like I had to, I guess, carry everybody. I do not intend to be a dictator. That's not my objective. Uh, Bonnie. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I feel like I've just started to skim the surface on my potential. I know I have a lot to learn, but I'm not ready to go home. The chef inside me is just starting to emerge. 
My decision is... Melissa, give me your jacket. Oh, thank God. You, madam, are going in the men's team. Take your jacket off. This is yours. Thank you, Chef. Now, listen carefully. Perhaps with a change of environment... Yes, Chef. ..really start shining. Yes, Chef. Over with the men. Your new team. Cheer at them. Bonnie... ..back in line. Melissa, this is your very last chance. Yes, Chef. I think now being on the boys' team, it's kind of like starting fresh. I don't have to help or carry anybody, and I'm totally ready to kick the red team's ass now. Blue team. Yes, yes chef. chef. Have you made your decision? Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Was it difficult? Yes, Chef. Cut the crap, will you, yeah? Melissa. Yes, Chef. Step forward. Take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. You, madam, have had more chances than anybody. Good night. I was the worst person in the blue kitchen tonight. I'm upset that I had to leave. I didn't want to leave. I think Chef Ramsay sent me home tonight because he expected me to perform, and he said he'd give me one chance, and I didn't. Julia. Yes, Chef. Your nominee and why, please? My nominee is Bonnie, Chef. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. I think that she has great culinary experience, but I believe that when it comes to actually getting the food out, that's where she lacks. Brad, your uh, team's nominee and why, please? Uh, chef, the team's nominee is myself. Brad, nominated you. They nominated me, yes, Chef. Why? Uh, they, they thought I took a little too much control over the menu. Rock. Yes, sir. Is that right? Not exactly. We voted on it, Chef. He tried to take the leadership reins today. We think that that led us to be unsuccessful. Bonnie, Brad, step forward. Brad. Yes, Chef. How'd you feel? I think I could have been either the savior or the martyr. I try to go full force, and oh, I, yeah. you know, I try to have the balls to do a lot of stuff. When other, you know, when some people, you know, kind of wait in the winds, or everybody else kind of just say wait. my name. You should just say my name, that's all. If you're talking about me waiting in the wings, say rock. I thought I'd be politically correct about it. Oh, ain't no politically correct. We're trying to win a competition. Say my name. Good to see team spirits are high as always. Why should you stay? I think I'm remotely good at what I do. I think if, if there is a restaurant to give out, I think I could run that restaurant correctly. I try to take a, a leadership role, and I try to put myself out there. No matter if I win, lose, I try to do my best. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I know I have a good palate. I'm very creative. I think I have all of the makings to be a great chef. I just need more time in the kitchen to keep executing. I was really expecting more tonight from both teams. Stone cold, Brad. This is your menu here. Now concentrate, Brad. The chef. Buddy, yes, chef. you're cooking and your fucking gas is not even on. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is. Bonnie, wake up. Brad, take your jacket off. You're leaving Hell's Kitchen. Tonight, I was looking for a leader, and all you were was a cook. The yes, chef. Rock and uh, Josh knew that I'm the better chef, and I think it was their decision to vote me off because I was the biggest competition. You know, I, I, I still think I'm the best. Bonnie. Yes, chef. Have you made your decision? 
Yes, Chef. Mm -hmm. First nominee and why? My first nominee is Rock. He lost communication. His temper flared when it shouldn't have flared. And in, in my opinion, he could have done better. Second nominee. Second nominee tonight. Is Julia. I think the world of Julia, I think she's come so far, but she struggled on Garnish tonight. And she's just shown that she has a lot to learn with product. Rock, Julia, step forward, please. Tough, really tough. Rock, why should you stay? I know my performance tonight was uncharacteristic of me, and I'm a great communicator. I, uh, I failed tonight. I can do better, and I will do better if given the opportunity. Julia, why should you stay? I feel like I don't want to go home. Tonight was really hard for me, but I, I didn't give up. You know, I refuse to give up. Um, that's just the kind of person that I am. I've got one guy that is completely driven to get to the top of his career, and one woman having made the most significant improvement. This is a very tough decision on a personal front for me. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight I'm really sorry. It's Julia. Take off your jacket. Listen, you have done phenomenally well. And I'm going to do something now that I've never done before. I am personally going to send you to culinary school because you have an exceptional amount of talent. Thank you. And when you've done that, I want you to come back here and win it hands down because there's something quite amazing about you. Thank you. I am very proud of you. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Good night. Whose is that? Mine. I'm a short order cook. I've never worked in a kitchen like this before. I mean, if somebody can tell me anything, I'm just trying to do my best. I think that people underestimated me. Julia, yes, take control. Come on. Let's rock yes, it out, ladies. Music to my ears. Good stuff. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> we got this one in the bag. I know that Chef Ramsay is only hard on us to make us better because it's made me so much better. I know that great things will come out of this, you know, just starting with culinary arts school. I made it really far, but I don't want to go home. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. Why should you be a finalist in Hell's Kitchen? With every service, I have gotten better. I'm a team player, but I can take it to the next step, and I can be the person that people look to. I think I have what it takes. Jen, why do you think you should be a finalist in Hell's Kitchen? I live for food. Being in the kitchen is my home. I don't have all the experience, but I love learning. I know I've been a mouse but I'm gaining confidence. I have the confidence inside of me. And it's coming out every service. Rock, to me, I've grown a lot. Um, and not just as a cook or a chef. I've grown a lot as a, as a person. I've learned a lot. I'm a leader. I didn't come here to finish second or third. I, I came to get this restaurant. Thank you. All three of you had tremendous highs this evening. Risotto cooked too long. Reorder. Good. Excellent. Jen, I think it, need, it still needs some more salt, babe. It's still not seasoned enough. Get a pan on, get that risotto in now. It, it comes with ham. You're not supposed oh. to take it off. Well spotted. Yeah, thank you. Let's thank go. You. This is a tough decision. And my decision is... to go into the final.
scare me like that. Congratulations. Thank you. Bonnie and Jen, this is extremely difficult. Person leaving house kitchen. Jen. You have done so well. And your enthusiasm and your drive for food is extraordinary. Bloody well done. You have nothing to feel ashamed about, eh? Nothing whatsoever. Don't you dare stop. Don't you dare stop. Yes? Hey. You keep that head high. Yes? Well done, my darling. You sure. Bye, everybody. I'm from a small town, and things like this don't happen to people like us every day. Come on, guys, come on! Jen, very nice, that spaghetti. Thank you, chef. Did you come out here to fucking be the nice girl? Did no, you come out here? Vinny, I didn't come out here to be the nice girl. Wow, bloody hell. <laughs> the most favorite dish, Jen. Well oh. done. <laughs> so beautiful. Look at, look at, look at, my hair. Oh, yes. my God. Yes. Bend it widely, yes. Oh, OK. <laughs> I'm going to be successful. I know I am. I tried so hard, and I've sacrificed so much so far, and it just wasn't enough. This is it. Tonight, you both ran your kitchens. Well done. Thank you. Bonnie, you have surprised me the most. There's a level of assertiveness within you that is just extraordinary. Rock, there's a real safety about having you in a kitchen. I can see why you're called Rock, because you're rock solid. I've read and studied every customer comment card. I've missed nothing. I've watched you both since that first ticket came on, and I've made some real tough decisions, but nothing quite as tough as I've made this evening. Please stand in front of your doors. It's been a long, hard, serious journey. One of these doors will open to your future. You'll be the winner of Hell's Kitchen, and then becoming a head chef at the Green Valley Ranch Resort in Vegas with an amazing salary of $250,000. Put your hands on the door handles. Standing at that door, I started to get a little emotional. I was just asking for strength because I didn't come here to lose. I came here to win. The stress is definitely palpable. I want to throw up right now. I'm so nervous. It's just, oh, my god. Good luck. Bonnie and Rock, on the count of three, please turn your handles. Ready? One.
this is just so big for me and my family. I just won. Thank God, I just won. I love you so much. I owe everything I do for my family. The fact that I finished and I completed shows my son, shows my daughter, that if you really stick your mind to something, you can do it. Well done, well done, well done, well done. I am so happy for Rock. I think Chef Ramsay did make the right decision. I'm not worried about myself. I think that the right opportunity will find me. Thank you, Chef. Appreciate it. Hey, don't be silly. Hey. How you feeling? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. Rock deserved to win Hell's Kitchen because he's a very confident cook and he has become a really good leader. He can motivate staff, he can create. Thank you, Blue. 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 All those qualities is not easy to find in one chef. Rock holds all of them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Hell's Kitchen winner, Rock! Yeah!